Alright, so this one can work out some problems with coefficients of performance, uh, work, heat transfer, for refrigerators, and heat pumps. Um, <clears throat> a lot of this is, is just units and unit conversions. Uh, and also figuring out what the problem statement is really telling us. You know, it tells us three, 360 kilojoules per minute. What is that? It tells us 2 kilojoules. What's, what is that? All right, so let's read this. Food compartment in refrigerator is maintained by four, to, at 4 degrees Celsius by removing heat from it at a rate of 360 kilojoules per minute. What is that? That, that is the rate of heat that we are removing from the colder stuff on the inside of the refrigerator, that is QL. And it's a rate, it's not just kilojoules, kilojoules per minute, uh, so that's a QL dot. All right, if the required input to the refrigerator is two kilowatts, that's WN or W net N. Uh, determine the coefficient of performance of the refrigerator and the rate of heat rejection to the room. Uh, so we want to find COP, subscript R, and we want to find, what is this, the, the rate of heat rejection to the room, that's QH dot. All right, so we have a few um, um, equations for coefficient of performance for a refrigerator. One of them is QL dot over WN dot. So this is just 360 kilojoules per minute over the work in of two kilowatts now uh, the, this coefficient of performance is unitless. Uh, these units don't exactly work out. What is a kilowatt? A kilowatt is a kilojoule per second. So I need to convert uh, minutes to seconds. Let's see. So, so do, yeah, dividing it by 60 uh, would be good. So uh, 6 over 3. So, yeah, this would be 3 is a coefficient of performance of this uh, heat, uh, of this refrigerator that is removing QL at a rate of 360 kilojoules per minute, and it's, it's taking a power in of 2 kilowatts. Uh, and then part B, the rate of heat rejection, QH. So let's see, I've got a couple of equations. I could, I could now that I've found COP, I could say COP is QL over QH minus QL. So that's 1, and, and since I know those, I could find QH. Or that would actually be going around the block doing too much work. I know the work, the net work, and I know that the net work is QH minus QL, or in this case these are dots, right? These are times rate of change or power. So 2 kilowatts is equal to QH that I'm looking for minus 360 divided by 60, right? Minus 6 uh, minus 6 kilowatts, right, 360 divided by 60. So here, QH is 8 kilowatts. QH is the rate of heat rejection to the room that houses the refrigerator. Okay, not too bad, just a little bit of units right there. Let's do another one real quick. All right, a heat pump is used to meet the heating requirements of a house, maintain it at some a certain temperature, on a day when the outside temperature drops to negative 2, the house is estimated to lose heat at a rate of 80,000 kilojoules per hour. If the heat pump under these conditions have a coefficient of performance of 2.5, determine the power consumed by the heat pump and the rate at which heat is absorbed from the cold outside air. Okay, so a heat pump maintains a house at a certain temperature. So, let's see. They, they kind of told it to told this to us in a roundabout way. If the house is losing heat at a rate of 80,000 kilojoules per hour, but I want to maintain it at a constant temperature, what should the heat pump do? The heat pump should be pumping heat back into it at the same rate it is losing it. This right there is their way of telling us the QH of the heat pump, right? The house estimated that it's losing 80,000, but if we want to keep it at a constant temperature, we've got to be replacing that 80,000. The heat pump does that. The heat pump pumps in 80,000 kilojoules per hour to keep it at a certain temperature. So if we know QH, if we know COP, can we find everything else, right? Can we find everything else? Can we find uh, A, the power consumed? 
the W net N. B, the rate at which heat is absorbed from the cold outside air, that is QL dot. That is QL dot. All right. So there might be better ways, might be more efficient way, or no, maybe efficient is a better uh, uh, term. There are a, a lot of different equations, and sometimes you can use different equations, go about these differently, get, take a different route than me. All right, but I know the coefficient of performance is 1 over 1 minus QL over QH. So if I know coefficient of performance and I know the QH, I can find the QL, right? This is 2.5, 1 over 1 minus QL over 80,000 kilojoules per hour. Maybe I could change that to kilowatts, uh, but if I don't change anything, then I'm going to be left with a QL of 48 thousand kilojoules per hour uh, it didn't tell me what units it wanted uh, so I actually saw B first uh, it didn't tell me it, that it wanted it in kilowatts uh, so I guess I'll just leave it as kilojoules per hour um, and then I need to find the power the W net in well that's QH minus QL I have both of those now W net in 80,000 minus 48,000 32,000 kilojoules per hour. That would be the W net N, the, the power uh, N. Okay. Yeah. All right. So, so there, there we go. I, I probably could have done COP uh, is QH over W N. I might should have started with that one. If I know COP, I know QH, yeah. That's probably the way I should have done that. But you can see, we can take different routes uh, to get there. Let's do one more quick one. One more quick one. All right, food department is kept at negative 12 degrees Celsius by refrigerator in an environment of 30 degrees C. So this is kind of a freezer, right? But still the same idea. The total heat gain to the food department is estimated to be 3,300 kilojoules per hour, and the heat rejection by the condenser is 4,800 kilojoules per hour. Do you see that that is the heat rejection to the outside air? That's the QH. This right here is the QL. Yeah, not too bad. So let's determine the uh, WN in kilowatts and the coefficient of performance of the refrigerator. All right, so the WN is QH minus QL. So 4,800 kilojoules per hour minus 3,300 kilojoules per hour. I'll go ahead and say, I get 1,500, but that's not kilowatts, that's kilojoules per hour. I need to change hours to seconds divided by 3,600, so 0.417 kilowatts is the work in, the power input in. And part B, the coefficient of performance, a number of equations I could do. And be careful, coefficient of performance for a refrigerator is different than the coefficient of performance of a heat pump. Uh, coefficient of performance of a refrigerator, 1 over QH over QL minus 1, so that, or, or, QL over WN. That, yeah, that would be easier. I've got this as 3,300 kilojoules per hour over 1,500 kilojoules per hour. Units cancel out. This is 2.2. Coefficient of performance of my refrigerator is 2.2 right here. So you see that um, there's quite a few equations. Uh, that we need to know how to use for um, refrigerators and heat pumps, but not, not mathematically very hard.